you gotta get out of the way. You, you all have got to go. First things first, the old rhino has had the Mises in it. And uh, here's a fun fact for y'all that don't grow up in the heartland. Um, corn, seed corn, will sometimes have a coating on it. Uh, it's treated and it has fertilizers attached to it and that kind of stuff. This is Mies poop. And if the Mises eat the seed corn with the coating on it, it makes their poops turn. A different color that's interesting fun fact but let's get the me stuff out of here and then we'll then we'll tear it apart village down in here pretty good shape because we're going to take this whole billy pan off and we don't want the me stuff you know coming down with it <laughs> plastic skid pan off here um, so we can get really good access to the bottom of this engine and see where this oil is leaking oopsie I didn't know those came apart come on socket's too big. Alright, let's go get a different socket. Let's try this guy. Gritty ones. It rained last couple days, so we've got water leaking out of here too. But here she comes. Okay, back to the first. Thing. There we go. Well, hmm. Hang on, I'll get you in here. Okay, so here's where we're at. Here, let me. Here, how about that? Yeah, we can get access now. Uh, this is the water pump that's been replaced. And. 
Here's the oil leaks coming from right here. Looks like this piece was removed and it's what the customer kind of said. So this place was removed and maybe we didn't get a gasket or we tore a gasket putting that back together. Um, not the end of the world, I don't think. Um, otherwise, everything else is hooked up. I do think, I don't think we're leaking coolant anymore. Um, but we're leaking coolant. Well, we're leaking exhaust into the coolant and the coolant into the exhaust. So, um, let's check the radiator and make sure that we didn't leak out coolant under the ground and we don't I don't think we have a problem here and then but we'll go ahead and drain here and then we'll go ahead and drain oil and kind of yeah so yeah not too bad we can get this apart and get a new gasket for this probably new o-ring for this uh, there's probably an o-ring on this hard line and and then we you know the bigger problem is the head on top we'll start tearing into that too but yeah there's still you guys probably can't see it but I can see we're probably half full in the radiator um, so yeah I think we're okay coolant wise but we'll have it off anyway we'll have from here out off and we'll have from here up off so yeah we'll have room for activities by the time we're done so we've got a lot of cap screws a couple 12s a couple eights a couple tens and uh yeah yeah Side because that feels like it's wanting to twist. Yep, it's not. Shoot. Shoot, you guys. Let's take this hose off instead of taking those bolts out. If you don't get a good bite on them the first time you get in there, don't just try and start turning. Take a moment, clean them suckers out because you strip one, you don't need something. was kind of handy for this job customer brought with the machine the uh, a copy of the factory service manual so uh, before we go loosening the head we have to get this thing at top dead center so it's easier to put back together and to do that there's a little plug on the passenger side of the engine um, at the crank and you take this little plastic this guy out you take this little plastic plug out and there are marks and I'll show you there's a notch in that inspection hole and you have to rotate the engine counterclockwise from this side until a timing mark meets up with that notch I won't be able to do that while I well no while I hold the mirror and the camera and a wrench that's one too many hands 
So, uh, but I'll do that and then I'll re-show you what it looks like. There's my window. And maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. But you have the notch and then you have the groove in the flywheel. And you gotta align those two marks. Now we're at top dead center. Now we can continue with the removal of the head cover. One thing to note to verify that you're at top dead center on a compression stroke, you can come up here and take this valve inspection cover off. You gotta take it off anyway because there's two valve uh, cover bolts hidden under here. If you come up here and you feel slack in the rocker arms, then that's your top dead center on your compression stroke. And you can continue with the removal of your head cover. be able to get this guy out of the way just enough pull straight up and off there we go all right fast forwarding a little bit we have loosened our cam sprocket bolts spun the cam 180 to get to the bottom on here it is out actually this one's loose but we came back up to top, top dead center on a compression stroke just to keep everything the same um cam tensioner we loosened the tensioner bolt and now we're getting ready to pop that out i hope there it goes cam tensioner out or I'm sorry, timing chain tensioner, jeez Louise. So now our timing chain has slop in it. We should be able to pull the guide out on the exhaust side. All right, we are on head bolt number seven. Kind of fast forwarded you there a little bit. Um, but we took the cam tensioner out, we took the uh, camshaft, we took the sprocket, cam sprocket out. We have the timing chain hanging here so it doesn't fall down into the abyss. And this is our last head bolt. So, we should Be at a point, yep, we should be coming loose here. Something kind of holding on over there. Eh, just a couple guide pins is all. One thing I noticed taking this apart, loosening these head bolts especially, to me, it sure felt like they weren't the torque was different. There were some that were super tight. Uh, this one down here was super, I mean, like, I don't know, 15 foot pounds on it or so. It, it came out really easy. So it'd be interesting to see. I got to get Jalen for this. Hang on. Never mind. Looks like I'm on my own. So what we got to do here is lift the head up. I have some mechanics wire holding the uh, timing chain. We're going to have to fish it through. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to have to fish the timing chain through the head as we lift it off here. So this should be this should be fun. But we are free of the engine already. So if I can. Find a way. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck on that. Okay. If I can just continue to lift, maybe, and then do that. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. We're stuck on that one. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And 
now I can let this chain come down. Disconnect my mechanics wire. Pull my mechanics wire out. And then re install the mechanics wire. Like so. We're out of here. Piece of gravy. Get this over to the bench, but. Uh, it's like we might not have a cracked head, but we definitely have some head gasket issues. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't even wiped this off. Right out of the gate, here's a pointer. Look right here. See this nice oval? We have a blowout in the head gasket. Right here. get it through yeah right about right in there and coincidentally so this is the bottom side of the head uh, three intake valves two exhaust valves kind of cool uh, this goes to the carburetor exhaust mounts up back here this head bolt right there was not as tight as the others in fact I think it was this one as well was not didn't just didn't seem to be get all the torques um, so we've got a head gasket failure and uh, you know you can't really see much on the other side but we definitely burned through that right there this is a locating dowel these are coolant going around the cylinder head but you can see carbon you can actually see the carbon getting in and around these cooling passages back here conversely you look up here this is gasket material but it's not that black brown sooty stuff this is just gasket leavings and that kind of thing up here nothing's leaking out up here it's leaking down from about here to about over here um, and probably the vast majority what was causing our really big huffing and puffing out of the cooling system was this guy right here so we're gonna let let me see let's let's just for giggles now we're gonna wipe this off just the hair and we'll see real real preliminarily we'll put a straight edge on it and just take a I mean this isn't gonna be scientific at all three thousands Oh, we might be able to use this head, guys. I'm not getting anything across there. Wow. No warpage. Here's what I'm doing. Coming right along here. Well, here, we'll just go this way. We are not getting through anywhere. So we might have just had a combination of either some bolts loosening or not being torqued properly at some sort of a service. Or... Um, just a faulty head gasket. I'm inclined to just do a head gasket, clean this up, not even surface it, you guys. I'm sure somebody's gonna flame me in a comment, but you have an obvious head gasket failure. Um, you have a loose bolt in that vicinity the head appears flat as flat can be. Huh. 
I'm gonna have to think on this one. Tell me what you think in the comments. Well, we'll go ahead and pull the pull the bottom end apart now, um, because we don't have catastrophic engine failure. We have head gasket failure. Um, so let's pull the bottom end apart and look at that oil leak, and we'll have to pull the water pump off and see what gaskets and seals and O-rings we need for that. So we can get a list of all the stuff we're gonna need to put this thing back, and yeah. So we'll finish pulling it down and go from there. It's the next day. I better get you caught up to speed here. <coughs> um, we are going to go with a head gasket. Uh, talk to the uh, customer and uh, he's on board with uh, let's try and get this done on the cheap side. Uh, it's officially short britches weather in the shop. I think we're into summer now. Really nice day. A little windy but life isn't too bad really pretty nice day out um we're tearing into the second half of this issue though and that is customer put his own water pump on this the water pump way down here and in doing so uh, at the conclusion of that uh, all the water or coolant leaked out and all the engine oil leaked out and uh you know, so we're taking it back apart in an effort to figure out how that happened. Um, we did have to take the little fan off here and uh, the end of the crank, that's down here. And to do that, you had to hold it steady because these are our marks in this little hole right here that uh, are keeping all this in time while we have the top end of the motor torn apart. So. But we started on the bottom end where it was tougher to get the stuff, removed coolant hose from the water pump. I'm hoping the water pump will come off with this part of the case. And we won't have to redo all the water pump stuff because that looks like got done correctly and is going to chooch on and live. So we worked around the bottom, came up. Now we've got the three easiest to get two bolts left. And then we'll see if we can take this whole... Um, Part of the case off this one loose it looks like it's starting to separate around the bottom edge of this so maybe that water pump will come off together um, but I don't know I didn't read the manual if if it doesn't want we'll to put a couple bolts back in and then Crawl underneath, take the water pump out, and, and then, uh, yeah, and then re-remove bolts. But it looks like it's coming apart down there where that water pump is, so. Golly, they'll come out with your fingers, but they're right at the edge of this case. There we go. get that off guys it might work out as planned probably not but it might okay we gotta move this coolant hose out of the way and then can we say come on come on let's yeah there you go let's come off very good sorry my arm's right in your way uh, we're gonna try to manipulate some stuff here. You gotta get out of the way. You you all have got to go. Got a zip guy cut down here. I should cut way before this point. There we go. All right, and there's no plug near here for the stator wire, so looks like we're gonna have to kind of. Nagle this guy out like so all right what we're here for this paper gasket was replaced 
by the owner. Looks like we got a little bit of a bend there. But mostly it's intact up here. I got a feeling there's a tear at the bottom though. Let's go down there and take a look. Yep, right there it is. Okay. Here's what we're looking at. If I can get that coolant hose. See the gasket got pushed in right here. Gosh darn it, I can't. Hang on, this is a good learning experience, so let me. Okay, I had to bungee the cooling line out of the way. But here's what happened, folks. Our paper gasket got folded in, probably trying to manipulate that case back together. And it folded up in and ended up not laying flat here. So that's where our oil leak was, but that's easy. Um, we will, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we will <coughs> order a new gasket. And like I said, I think the water pump is fine. And we'll just uh, plan on putting this back together. Susie Gasket's here. So not the end of the world at all. We'll pull this off, clean this up, and, and it should be, you know, other than getting, making sure everything gets back together like it came apart, which is, you know, sometimes challenging for me. Shh, don't, I shouldn't have said that on video. But uh, yeah, we'll get her back. She'll shoot. All right, here's where it looks like. Where here's here's what it looks like from the top. You got all your gears and chains and everything else. Um, a couple things we'll have to be mindful of going back together is because we didn't take the water pump off. You've got it's got this groove that aligns with a groove and a drive. Um, at the very bottom down there um, so when we go back together we'll have to make sure that those two uh, like one another so here's where we're at we need paper gasket for this uh, customer did not replace the seal when he did the water pump and had this off once it's now been off two times and so we better go ahead and get a seal here because yeah we don't want to risk having a leak after we've put it back together for the third time um, and then we'll get a head gasket we'll get the, the timing chain tensioner gasket and an oil filter and some oil and some coolant and yeah I mean I'll have to make a list there might be a couple other little things o-rings there's a coolant line that has an o-ring down there we'll get that um, yeah not in too bad a shape considering Initially, we were expecting to put uh, a new head on this thing, possibly, plus the oil leak and coolant leak and everything else, which everything's looking okay. We're going to get parts ordered, and in a few days, we will uh, throw this thing back together. But this is going to be the teardown video. We'll end it here because otherwise it'll get super long. Um, hey, if you have comments suggestions questions on what we did to this here machine tippy tap the keyboard below otherwise as always thanks for watching we'll catch you on the put her back together video for this thing stay tuned